Hey guys and girls, it's your best bud Woody down here at the egg box for production expert. Let's make some noises. Today we're talking, appropriately enough, vocals. And I'm gonna give you five count and five tips to make your vox go pop. Now, I've had them all at the egg box, from Sid Viscus to Day Melon Meringue Pie. Now, I don't care if you're screaming down a 50 quid Technia Audica or crooning into a couple of solid bauxite highs and highs of 43 four falls, the goal remains the same. Clarify, intensify, then Spotify. First up, clarity, or clearness, or clarification. It's gotta be smooth, but it has to be spiky. So, for this session, we're using a vocal from the terrific new single by John Swan. Thanks, Jay. Just a great song a singer and a very close personal acquaintance. Dancing on Saturday night. So yeah, sounding fine, fat but not chubby. Signal to noise is fair to both parties, that's a must. Uh, perhaps a bit fivey in the sixties, but that's John. So we're almost there, it's just kind of muddy, and mud don't pay the mortgage. Now, even before we get all the bells and whistles out the oven, there's plenty we can do to add width, girth, and some low latency plumptiousness. By finding the perfect combination of just 20 or 30 different effects, only the very basic values like gain, attack, defense, erotica, and magnificence, it's amazing the difference you can make. Well, just listen, here's the track before. Dancing on Saturday night. And after just two or three days tweaking. Dancing on Saturday night. <laughs> well, listen to that, immediately. It's the same track, I swear, right? But that is like night and south. Dancing on That's Saturday foggy. Night. That's sunshine. That's a post-it note. That's IMAX. Yeah? That's a poodle in a teacup. That's King Kong eating a train. Next, and call me an old radiophonic fogey if you like. Don't. But for me, it's still all about the threes. I know, yeah, you weekend whippersnappers these days, you're all excited about your fours, about your eights, about your blinking twelves. Am I right? But take it from an old rocker, guilty as charged, if you've got a watch, why buy a cuckoo clock? I'm not wrong. The best DBs come in threes, yeah? So in Slice Master, in Layer Cake, wherever, just sex tuple up, then triple down your opposite hertz, panning alternately left, right, up and down in groups of nine, three, six, 18, and so on, to your threshold in no higher than minus 666. Job done. So now you've cleared off your top shelf, put it all in a nice low cupboard. How do we get that basic track from dry as a kite to wet as a merman's breakfast? Okay, yes. I complain that a lot of you young woodies and woodesses out there are still literally civil partnerships to the dreaded auto-tune. Personally, I wouldn't touch it with a five inch barge pipe. But, confession time, one similar plug out that I will admit to occasionally taking for a romp around the soft play area, is auto mood. Now, no matter how subtle some of these presets may seem, uh, whether it's basic, Dance and Gosh, it feels alright. R&B, Dance and Gosh, it feels alright. Uh, metal's quite nice. Dance and Gosh, it feels alright. These are all different, I promise. Uh, Eddie Vedder, of course. Dance and Gosh, it feels alright. And backwards. It was nice for a ballad. Trust me, even tweaks as small as these can make a globe of difference. And the great thing is also, none of this needs to see it on your master bus. It can walk home. <laughs> Feelings. What's a song? Use of the voice to create tonal progression through words set to a melody. You would say that. Nah, nah, nah. Any producer worth his weight in salt or her weight in pepper knows that hidden within the dull, useless clay of a person singing, there are always little nuggets of pure performance platinum. An intake of breath, a croak of emotion as a line dies away. And of course, between the words, those ever crucial silences. Use any automation plug off, it's gonna enhance all of them. Whether it's Emo Boost by Singy Tech, Feel Fatner from Fatness Factory, or yet yeah, Mosh Augment by Robin Samples at Hit Wrangler Labworks. All right, Robin. Those dynamic silences are gonna grab your listener by the scruff of their heart and drag them straight to your band camp. Finally, the producer doth mix too loudly, methinks. My liege. When final mix time comes around, we've all been tempted to crank it right up. Yeah, really blast out the beef till your cork board falls down. We've all been tempted. But in fact, if you turn way, 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 way down, both your ears actually become more sensitivitized to the mid-range. And that's the exact shades long where your vocal sits. Sometimes you've got to take a couple of baubles off the tree. Now it's Christmas. So that vocal, I can bring it up. To... Oh, steady, down a bit. Couple of dBs, it's nothing. 
there. Is it the... That's perfect. No, it's terrible. Is it there? Is it... Start again. So there you go. Why spend all those minutes agonizing over getting your vocal tracking so-called right on the day, granddad, when in just a couple of weeks you can fix it in the mix? See you next time, if I don't hear you first.